All right, we're going to do a review of a commercial or civilian MRE from MRE Nation. This one is menu number seven, barbecue chicken, with an inspection date of February 2021, and it was packaged in February of 2019. And just to let you know, this is the short version of this video. It's probably going to be a little bit choppy, and there's going to be a lot of details left out. If you want to see the full video with a lot more information, a lot more details, I'll put a link in the description down below. And one thing to mention on this is the first time I've seen this, there actually is a fail on the seal on the bottom of this. It looks like it wasn't heated up quite enough or, or something, and it can actually get... Actually, maybe I'll just go, go through the bottom. And let's actually, yeah, we'll use the bottom, and we'll check out what's in here. A barbecue sauce with chicken, black beans, and potatoes. And we have an oatmeal chocolate chunk cookie, trans fat free. We have a side of au gratin potatoes. We have the standard accessory pack for an MRE Nation MRE. In this one we get a napkin, the MRE Star MRE Nation spoon, deep rich coffee, creamer, sugar, crushed red pepper, moist towelette, salt and pepper, and Smarties candies. We also get apple pieces and spiced sauce. And we get standard pack two, which has 700 calories. This one is going to include crackers, a beverage bag, or a beverage bag, strawberry jam, cheese spread, and peanut butter. And our beverage is going to be a lemonade flavored drink mix. Of course, it also does have a flimless ration heater. Let's go ahead and heat up the main. Yeah, actually, I forgot to mention the ground potatoes, because we're going to heat those up too. Since this MRE Star entree actually comes with a box, I'm going to take advantage of that, and I'm just going to put the entree in the flimless ration heater and put the ground potatoes on the outside. Let's add some water to the fill line. And just throw the whole thing into the box. The ground potatoes on the other side. And that's working. It's definitely working. Do that about 10 to 12 minutes to heat up. And we'll also attempt to heat up the coffee in the flameless ration heater too. Oh, this seems to be a little bit clumped up in there. Not oh, too bad. See if I can find a little bit of room to at least get some heat into this. It's such a hot day. I probably wouldn't normally be having hot coffee today anyway, but let's try it out. We do have the three spreads here. I think we'll go ahead and try using a little bit of everything just because we do have it all. And but first I do want to do the apple pieces and spice sauce. This was sitting in the sun and is very warm. That has a really nice smell coming off of it. It basically smells like apple pie filling. And we have the crackers. That seems to be the way to get these out relatively intact. Yeah, so it should be interesting to see how liquidy this peanut butter is, but I'll give it a little bit of a knead. Yeah, it's going to be pretty runny. In the strawberry jam, we'll do a little peanut butter and jelly action. Tasty. And in the second one will have the liquid cheese spread on it. The sun is a very effective ration heater. Oh wow. That's uh I did need that, but I guess it's just so melty it's looking a little bit funny. A 
the oatmeal chocolate chunk cookie. It's been sitting in the sun, so the chocolate is, wow. I mean, that's completely melted, but looks and smells good. And we may use a little bit of that oatmeal cookie for the apple pie. All right, now we'll use the MRE Nation beverage bag to make up our lemonade flavored drink mix. It's going to be a little less than 12 ounces, but that's fine. Got a good shake. And then we can just leave this right over here. Let's see if the coffee get heated at all. Yeah, it's actually hot. Wow. Use this with our potatoes and our chicken. Barbecue sauce with chicken, black beans, and potatoes. Well, wow, that's actually really reminiscent of some of the barbecue flavored entrees from the 80s in the old brown bag MREs. Let's check it out. Yeah, it looks and smells really good. The potatoes seem like an odd addition, but uh, I'm sure it's going to go fine. Looks like a little stew almost. You get chicken, beans, and potatoes in a barbecue sauce. So let's go ahead and try out this barbecue chicken. It's easy enough to get a little bit of everything on your spoon since everything's all kind of cubed and chunked and small. That's good. It basically tastes like baked beans, like a can of baked beans. Chicken doesn't seem to have too much flavor itself. Let's see, where is the chicken? There's some chicken. It's dark. It, almost looks, it looks like beef. I would have thought this was... I would have thought that was beef. I don't know if they can see that or not, but... Not a lot of flavor in the chicken. It seems to have basically taken on the barbecue flavor. But it doesn't seem to be um, really overly processed either. It kind of tastes, even though it's just little chunks, it kind of feels like, like you're eating real chicken. Which is good. Potatoes. Nothing wrong with those. They're firm. They're not over or underdone. They seem to be perfectly cooked. Pretty nice entree. Not exactly what I was expecting, but a nice, uh, nice camping meal. There's a lot of flavor. I really don't think it needs anything. It's not terribly spicy. I mean, it's just barbecue. It's not uh, it's supposed to be spicy. But it's got a nice little bit of a, a sweet kind of a kick to it from the barbecue sauce. I'm not going to have any problem finishing this whole thing. This is really good. I'll try the uh, rotten potatoes. I don't think that the chicken needs any kind of uh, additional flavorings or anything. You do have the crushed red pepper and the salt and pepper. I like the ground potatoes, but I was expecting to be a little bit more flavorful than it is. And this can use definitely some salt, probably a little bit of pepper. So it can on its own. I don't think I'd really put the two of these together. You could, and you could put the uh, barbecue chicken on top of the potatoes. And the cheesy component in that. Actually, that probably would be pretty good. We do have to at least try them together. I was kind of thinking that these are too much, like their own kind of dish to mix them, but the cheese probably won't be a bad thing to add to the barbecue chicken. Yeah, they do go well together. One of the eternal mysteries of MREs is that standard, genuine U.S. MREs come with salt, but they do not come with pepper. And the vast majority of commercial MREs do come with pepper. I always appreciate getting it in the commercial ones. I think this is going to be a big improvement to something that's already pretty good. Yep, that's what it needed. These potatoes are also cooked perfectly, not too firm, not too soft. I have a little bit of this coffee. The thing that's been said about this deep, rich coffee is that it's neither deep nor rich. And, uh, yeah, I'd say there's nothing really special about it, but it's a uh, perfectly serviceable 
instant coffee. Nothing wrong with it. And then we have our cheese spread, which has been really super separated by being in the sun. But and yep, it's your standard cheese spread. Tastes like a canned cheese, like a cheese whiz kind of thing. Nothing wrong with that. And I think I'll actually put a little bit of this on here. As I probably would have done that if I had an extra cracker. It's actually quite good. I was thinking of just um, having on some crackers or crumbling some crackers up in there, but it actually tastes really good altogether. So that is really good with the uh, with the chicken. Uh, I'm not you know, I'm surprised that it is, but I'm glad I tried that. I'm gonna try some of this peanut butter and jelly sandwich on a cracker. It all kind of melted together. That's good, those flavors go really well together. It was like strawberry jam, kind of a nice touch. And the peanut butter, despite being melty, is still a Murray peanut butter. Now I'll try this melty, oh wow, oatmeal chuck chunk cookie. Which is obviously also going to be hot. And it's really good, I think it's a little bit extra soft, because the fact that the chocolate is melting and everything in it is basically superheated. But that improves it. It kind of feels and tastes like a, a cookie fresh out of the oven. It's quite good. Don't get in the coffee. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. I'm gonna try a little bit of this quite warm lemonade. It'll be quite as refreshing as I might like it to be, but and that's good. I like that touch. Uh, lemonade and amari. It seems like kind of an obvious thing, but you get the lemon-lime stuff, which isn't really like lemonade. No, the other different kind of fruit combinations, but you don't really just see plain lemonade for the most part. And I think it's pretty good. Now, the last thing is basically our second dessert, spiced apples. And I already mentioned that these smell like an apple pie filling. And that's what they taste like, too. Basically, an apple pie filling, all it needs is a crust. So I think I'm just going to use a little bit of this. I'm trying not to get too much of the chocolate in there, but... Some of the oatmeal cookie to give it a little bit of a crunch. It's like a little bit of an apple pie crust. You know, it's really good. It's like an apple cobbler kind of a thing. Finish this bit here. But that was a look at an MRE Nation MRE from 2019. It's menu number seven, barbecue chicken. And thank you for watching.